we do have a website and the uh the slides are actually oops, keep on the waiting window. the slides for this whole thing are actually just i put them on our resources site and i'll just put them actually in the chat as well so um, do, 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 do. let's do that okay i'll put the link in the chat whoops that's not it let me just actually go there it's just a pdf file so it might might kind of warn you that you know you're opening something that might destroy your computer or something like that but uh as far as i know it's safe so i will put that in the chat that's the pdf so you don't have to uh, madly take notes or anything like that i just put on my, our weebly site so you have all the links and I put all the links in here. If you need to use them, go, go to the sites and register and et cetera, et cetera, share it with your teachers, all that stuff. Okay, away we go. Thanks once again to those that just joined us. And we have a couple more, let me just let them in. Okay, might have to go back and check that. All right, so away we go. Now, first thing I want to oh, we have one more. first thing I want to uh, show you guys is if you're like me and your hair is kind of crazy, you can always uh, just click that little touch up appearance in the Zoom settings. Not sure how many of you know that that's there, and a few of you do, but uh, this little button, touch up appearance. What it basically does is it just softens your look a little bit. Okay, so that's my little Zoom tip for those of you that are on Zoom right now. <laughs> Thanks, Ward. Okay. So, anyways, uh, these are the providers that we're just going to be talking about today uh, briefly. I'm just I'm just going to go through some of the programs that are out there that are kind of new, and basically, some of them are all of a sudden like free, and they're basically waiting for people to use them. Um, if you're not familiar with our virtual field trip program, um, I basically kind of run this program that, and we have all of our teacher librarians district wide that I send updates out and help them out and support them and stuff like that. And they kind of roll this stuff out to their teachers and their schools. And we're really into like live interactive connections over video. That's kind of our thing. Um, so sometimes it's chat, you have to chat or the students have to chat, but uh, generally it's, you know, we're all familiar with Zoom at this point. Um, most of them are through Zoom and many of them are free. And all of the ones that I present show you guys today are going to be free. So it's it's pretty exciting. Okay. All right. So the first one, and many of you are familiar with this, this it's called streamable learning. And we actually use these guys uh, for a couple of years for free. And finally they said, okay, uh, Mark, you guys, you guys need to pay, you know. And I was like, oh really? What a drag. And uh, so we, I think we have about a dozen, dozen, maybe 14 schools in the district that actually pay. It was kind of a decision to just go school by school. And uh, basically they have a huge list of like live stream sessions. And I can just, it's all subjects and all grade levels and it's free for SD23 for the rest of the year. So you just uh, need to register. If you're not registered already in their site and you just need to register with your SD23 uh, email address. And it's as simple as literally as just clicking book and you get an email that says you're booked, here's the link. And everybody's operating a little bit differently currently because it's not just the teacher with a class in front of them, obviously, it's, it's kids are all at home. So these guys prefer to, uh, for the teacher to register and then send the students the link to the session. And the students actually, when they log in, they show up just as the teacher's name. And they like that, the streamable guys, because then it's then the, there's a, there's privacy there. You don't know um, the individual students. And you don't see the chat anyways, because it's like a Zoom webinar, they just see the chat. So if there's anybody trying to mess around or something like that, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, so they basically choose the questions to, to ask or to answer, I should say. So um, just to, kind of show exactly what this looks like if you've never used a stream of learning. You just go to their website. They have it sorted really, really well. Um, they have it by grade level, but I like going by month. Um, and we're almost done April, but if you look at May, there's still are uh, 
lots of sessions still in April. But there's all kinds of things. Um, Vancouver Aquarium, there's, you know, Mount Washington, Royal Botanical Gardens. There looks like they're doing a French language program right here. Uh, zoos, Alaska Sea Life Center, aquariums, etc. Okay, there, there's, there's tons of content, um, things happening every day. One thing you have to uh, take a look at and be aware of if you haven't um, done these type of connections before is you do have to pay attention to the time zone. Um, they're all in Eastern time. Okay, so you just have to subtract like three hours. So don't forget. Okay, but they're great. All right, so um, like I said, all subjects, all grades, uh, tons of content from, from all over the world basically. Okay, the next one is uh, the Royal BC Museum. And if any of you have ever uh, worked with Liz Crocker at the uh, RBCM, she's great. And she just let me know last week that they have a new program called RBCM at Home. And they're looking for, looking for kids and teachers. Okay, so they have four distinct programs. It, it can be a little bit confusing, but um, they just kind of started with this. They have RBCM at Home Kids, they're calling it. For kids, this is basically elementary and uh, perhaps middle school, probably more geared to elementary. Um, every Wednesday at 11 a.m. And if you just click on it, you'll see kind of the sessions that are coming up. And there are things like um, with, with different scientists and, and curators and stuff like that that work at the museum. Uh, they may be at home. They may be not sure if they're, they're learning in the, in the museum or not. But this one's about um, like fish with the curator of vertebrate zoology. And they're about a half hour. And you, and you just sign up. Um, I think the students can just uh, basically sign up from home, but you can obviously, you know, take part as well. Um, one thing I did look, I, when I talked to Liz, I think they only have a hundred spots per session on their Zoom license, but I, I, Liz was saying that if they get more than that, they're going to try to like, you know, increase their capacity uh, in Zoom. So another really great option. Um, they have a different session for adults and youth. It's called RBCM at Home. They actually have a session every second Monday and Friday for, for teachers, which is really cool. And then they also have a thing where they're actually just going to go outside the museum and do some like virtual field trips with some of the museum staff, like walk around and like look at trees and different, the different things they have on the grounds and stuff like that. So kind of a, a pretty cool program there from the RBCM. Okay. And all the links are, are on that page. Next one is CILC. Um, this one is, is designed for K to six and they have multiple sessions running each day uh, for, for the K to six guys. And it's all, all topics like um, science and math and social studies, literacy, art, music. Uh, one of the downsides of, about this is they're kind of geared more towards the Eastern time zone. So the sessions start at 6.30 in the morning. Um, if, you, if you don't wanna get up early or your kids don't wanna get up early, you can always just catch the tail end, you know, from nine till, till 12.30. There, there's still um, several sessions per day you can get in on. They ask the teachers to, once the teacher registers, you can, they give you the link, or you can just send the registration link home to your students and parents, they say parents should register their child. If you have older kids, they could probably register themselves. But everything's recorded. I shouldn't say everything is recorded on YouTube. Many of the things are recorded on YouTube. Some of these providers don't want their stuff recorded because that's kind of their business. But uh, everything's free. And CILC has been doing this for a long time. It's it's like our number one. It's our largest database of uh, like video conference providers, like people that do like virtual field trips. So um, they've been in, in the game for like a really really long time. And uh, it's it's pretty neat. They're they're going to try to continue this right through May. I, I think they're trying to do like a Kickstarter asking for donations and stuff like that, but uh, hopefully they can continue this till right through to the end of the school year. Right. Now, next one, many of you probably are familiar with this Exploring by the Seat of Your Pants. It's run by a guy named Joe Grabowski and he's a former elementary teacher in Guelph, Ontario. Um, and basically what you do, what they do, he just talks to scientists and explorers and adventurers and stuff like that. And um, uh, probably, you've probably heard of this before. One thing they've done since this the pandemic's kind of uh, started is they've really increased the number of sessions. Like they're doing, I mean, they're probably doing like three to four sessions per day almost now. 
and they have a ton of different ways for you to sign up. You can get camera spots for your whole class. If you see down here, you can get camera spots just for you and get your class to tune in on YouTube live. They're, they're all broadcast on YouTube live to ask questions. You can get a camera, you can ask for a camera spot for your family at home. The family at home wants to be on a camera and ask questions live to whatever scientists they're talking to or whatever it is. So there's tons of options. Uh, most of these are geared for grade three to eight. It can be used for the older guys too, because I mean, you are talking to scientists. So, you know, they'll take questions from, from the older guys uh, as well, but that's kind of what it's geared for about grade, grade three to eight. And uh, it's, it's a pretty cool program. And they go to places like the Toronto Zoo and all kinds of really neat spots. And yeah, that's Exploring by the Seeger Panel. So check it out. You just, uh, all these things are right on their website and you can also subscribe to their mailing list. All right, so the Kelowna Museum. And uh, just talking to Jen on Monday, they have some new sessions um, that you see them right here, Okanagan Outbreaks, Salmon, Saskatoon, Sioux Storytelling, Wacky Wildlife, Bees We Love, and then they have a museum story time. Awesome. Uh, so I, I just put a little PDF link to a description of the sessions. So you can just check that out. Um, and yeah, just talk to Jen on Monday and uh, using Zoom and they're gonna be doing these things. We always wanted to get them into the virtual world and they were always just so busy doing like live programs with kids that they just didn't have time. But you know, now they have time. So they're in the virtual world and yeah, everything's free. So take advantage of it, you guys. Um, these four sound pretty cool. And for, for the younger guys, they have a, um, it's K to four, it looks like they have a museum story time. So just send an email to education at colonamuseums.ca and it's uh, Jen Garner that uh, is going to be the one you're going to be talking to and she's awesome. So Colonial Museum. Okay, how's my time? Seven minutes. Okay. All right, so last couple. The Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. If you've ever been to this, it's awesome. They normally do one session, about one session per month with like, you know, a scientist or, or some, somebody that works in the, at the museum. They're, they're now doing a bunch of sessions weekly. Um, their sessions were, were always really high quality, very well produced. They're, they're designed for grades three to eight. Uh, students can sign up individually, but you don't even actually need to register. And I'm not 100% sure um, if they're using a Zoom webinar. They may be using their own little thing. They used to use just a, a web-based where they would show the video. And you could, there's just a, a little text box where you could ask questions and stuff. So um, sessions are recorded. You can always watch them later. But yeah, they they basically kind of stepped up and, and offered like a ton of programs. And like I said, their, their programs are really, really good. And you can just see a bit of the, the schedule for this week. Um, down here on the left, but uh, some, some very cool science and, and uh, you know, natural history type uh, programs, sessions. Okay. Right. Um, now, only known about these guys for probably like probably a couple of weeks. Somebody asked me if I, I had heard of these guys and I actually hadn't, but they're called Educate Today. And they run kind of a, I guess, a similar program to sort of like what Streamable Learning does. It, it's, it's much smaller, um, but they're, they're offering six free sessions per week, different subjects and grades. I believe they're based out of St. Louis, Missouri. So a lot of their sessions are uh, around the Missouri and St. Louis areas. They talk with you know, authors and scientists and things like that. Um, one cool thing I, I noticed when I was just uh, checking this out is if you go down to some, the list of some of their things, they actually have some kind of cool sessions like the art of baking the perfect cookie. So yeah, there's some, there's some neat things in there that aren't necessarily maybe, you know, right in the curriculum or stuff like that, but that might be pretty cool for you to check out. So uh, the other thing is teachers, you can sign up your students with these guys as well, if you want to, or the students can sign up individually. If you have a class that maybe, or parents maybe that you know, don't have time or can't do this, um, teachers can sign up students individually so they can kind of log in. So that is called, that is Educate Today. And then the last one before we talk just briefly about a couple other last little bits. 
um, this Livet. Um, some of you might may have tuned into these guys. They are based out of Victoria on the island, and they normally offer like live, uh, really cool live sessions where they're um, in the you know river with salmon, or they're talking about you know they're on a whale boat or something talking about killer whales. They did a session from Kamloops last year uh, on fire fire safety from the Kamloops Lake Fire Center. Um, so they basically put together kind of a program that's that's all free for students and they have kind of themes each week like Arctic week and Earth week this week and stuff like that. So you can just sign up for that. It's designed for grades three to six. They have videos and all kinds of things. They have a live question and answer uh, with topic experts and it's just designed generally for parents to to register their kids uh, in this. Obviously you can register yourself and, and follow along with you know say the Q&A or the videos or anything like that but uh, Another option for you from the Libet guys. And the last little thing, just a couple of tiny little topics. Um, California Academy of Sciences generally hosts about one session per month. I just, I just noticed they're, they're start starting to up their uh, number of sessions that are free just because of this pandemic. Also Bamfield generally charges like $300 for things like live labs. And they're awesome. They they totally just have their GoPro and they're right in. They're grabbing you know starfish and taking them out and showing you things. Um, so, but they're offering free sessions, which is very cool. And they probably can't have visitors out there anymore, I guess. But uh, you know, at least we can do it virtually. So free for Banfield, and it's more designed for like the grades 11s and 12s, like the senior kind of sciences, mostly biology. But pretty cool option. You just go to their website and and see what they're um, what's there. And the last thing I just want to mention is this Arctic Live program. And this is really good um, if you're interested. I'm just going to click on this. This is a program that uh, they broadcast from this place called Svalbard. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But it's if you look it up on Google Maps, it's this tiny little like island that is like north of uh, Norway, I think it is. It's Norwegian. And like, it's like, I did a little bit of research on it. It's like the, one of the most northernly inhabited areas on the planet. So it's very, it's in very, very far north, north. That's where they do this Arctic live. And they have tons of, they do broadcasts and you can talk with scientists live about all kinds of different things about the Arctic and the ocean and things like that. The only thing that you, you should um, pay really close attention to, I mean, you always should, but there's only a couple of times that actually really work for us, unless you really want to get up early or stay up late kind of idea, just because they're on like Norway time. Um, they, they list their times as universal, but one thing they did starting last year is if you click, so I think the 2.30 and the four will work for us. So say if I click this four o'clock here, they've started actually putting their time in Pacific for people too, if you can see that here. So that one starts at 9 a.m. And uh, you just click book now, they're 45 minutes, and it tells you like the age levels that they're kind of designed for. Some are for, um, for older guys too. They have up to probably, uh, I don't know, maybe grade 10 or something like that, if I recall. But uh, they're very cool. And you get to talk live with scientists and ask questions and, and show you around and stuff like that. So it's very neat. And that's about it, you guys. So thank you so much for joining me. And I think, yeah. I have 40 seconds. So if anybody does have any questions, please send them my way. I know that was kind of a bit of a, bit of a whirlwind, but lots out there. Um, share this with your teachers. There's tons of content. You don't necessarily have to be there for this. You can just send the link to your students, say, check this out. You know, we can talk about it after, etc. cetera. Um, yeah, so take care, you guys. Appreciate you, you tuning in and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys can use some of this stuff. Okay, awesome. And if anybody wants to stick around, ask any more questions, go ahead. Otherwise, uh, yeah, all the best, you guys.